Hello children, how are you? Good, wonderful, amazing, very good. You are using very good words. Today children, we are going to take up English of 7th standard, 2nd language, Healthy Life Part 2. Are you all ready? Let me tell you a few instructions children. Children, take a book and a pen so that you can complete your task. And whenever I ask you questions, answer very loudly. Will you do it? Very good. If you are having your textbook, just keep your textbook aside so that you can complete the task. Shall we start? Yes. Okay, children. Today, we are going to take up the revision of last session. I had given you three words to find the meanings and also to make sentences. First one, furious. Look at the lady, she is furious, very angry. So, she is furious. He was furious of the accident. There was an accident. So, the man was very angry. This is a sentence. We will take up the second one. Second one is germs. Germs means krimigalo. Can you see the picture children here? Yes, a very small living thing that causes disease. These germs enter our body and we will get stomach ache, we get fever and all. So, germs causes diseases. So, this is the second word. The third one is witch. A woman with evil magical powers. Evil magical powers means bad magical powers. Deva, Athava, Ketta, Shakti and the healthy wala. So, that is called as witch. You can see the lady, she is flying. Sitting on a broom. Porke mele kunskondo. Harar te dele. So, this is broom. The witch was very angry. So, this was the story which we had in the last class. So, these are the three words. We will go for the next one. So, exercise number two, which was given as homework. Children, look at this picture. Such a beautiful picture. You can see so many vegetables. This is called as healthy food. I had given you one activity, children. To write down, can be eaten raw, have to be cooked and eaten, eaten raw as well as cooked. For example, children, eaten raw, raw andre hasida agi thinnuva tarkari golo athava tindi golo. So milk, cucumber, tomatoes, hagi thinnu baudu. Either all this can be eaten raw. Then have to be cooked. Have to be cooked means we are supposed to keep it on the stove and cook. Adige maadi thinnuva padartha galu. Eggs, mutton, chicken, ragi, cereals, rice. And the one is eaten raw as well as cooked. Hago hasida go thin bohudu. Mate adige maadi no thin bohudu. Tomatoes, onions, carrots, milk, eggs. All this can be cooked and eaten and also eaten raw. This was the exercise children which was given as homework. You just go through it. If it is any changes, you can just change it. Now we will go for the next one children. I request you all to please stand up. We will sing a rhyme. Shall we? Yes, please stand up. Yes. Shall we start now? Yeah. Here we go round the mulberry bush. Mulberry bush, mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush. So early in the morning, so early in the morning. This is the way I brush my teeth, brush my teeth, brush my teeth. This is the way I brush my teeth, so early in the morning. This is the way I take my bath, take my bath, take my bath. This is the way I take my bath, so early in the morning. This is the way I pray to God, pray to God, pray to God. This is the way I pray to God, so early in the morning. After that, this is the way I eat breakfast, eat breakfast, eat breakfast. This is the way I eat breakfast, so early in the morning. This is the way I pray to God, pray to God, pray to God. This is the way I pray to God so early in the morning. After that, this is the way I eat breakfast. Eat breakfast, 
eat breakfast this is the way i eat breakfast so early in the morning did you enjoy the rhyme children very good thank you you can sit we'll continue the lesson now we are going to take up today's topics of healthy life part 2 first one is vocabulary development in this we have meanings we have fill in the blanks and then we are going to go for comprehension questions then we are going to take up grammar in grammar we are going to take up countable and uncountable nouns opposites which are also called as antonyms then we are going to have forms of verbs different forms of verbs now children for this lesson we are going to start with the meanings those are the new words children here virus nowadays we are very much knowing about the virus of covid 19 isn't it yes it is also a virus and infective agent infective agent means with when it enters our body we will be feeling very much unhealthy so that is a agent we are having a agent here c you can see how the virus is it is affecting our body so the sentence is a virus is an infective agent infective agent now jwara anta hodaga nimage viral fever bandide anta heltare doctor viral fever anta helidre ide tara yavudodu ond krimi namma body walgade hogirutte we'll go for the second one which is called as vaccine vaccine means lasike lasike yavaga haktivi ಈಗ ಜಾಂಡೀಸ್ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಲಸಿಕೆ ಹಾಕಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅದು ಬರಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ತಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಎ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನು ತಡೆದು ನಮಗೆ ಹುಷಾರು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ನೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪಲ್ ಏರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೌ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನೋಸ್ forcibly sneeze andre seenu see the lady she is covering her mouth and nose when she is getting the sneeze so the sentence is when we sneeze we should cover our mouth and nose these are the new words which are there in the lesson we are going to continue this by using these words i am going to tell you a interesting story shall i tell you yes very good children now see here the boy started feeling ill you can see look at the boy the boy started feeling ill he was feeling ill now whole sala paathadalli kalskonidvi which is all germs agibittu one bottle biddittu a bottle annu thagondu a huduga kudda kudud mele avunige hushar illadange aayitu anta the boy started feeling ill he had no desire to do anything the evil portion had word you can see the evil portion because of drinking this he was ill avunige usharo irlilla he did not have anything to work next one the witches had learned to jump from one person to another like virus you can see so many people children so this was going from one person to another they were jumping from one person to another all the people had developed the disease of the disease of wasting time they had the disease of wasting time we'll go for the next one children dr fitton discovered that the witches were causing the disease with the help of a microscope there was no vaccine or cough syrup so when dr fitton saw that in a microscope he thought that they were the witches which had become germs and they were affecting our body we go go for the next one dr fitton healthy advised the people to eat some fruits vegetables and do some exercise to improve immunity to get rid of the disease of wasting time when we eat fruits vegetables and do exercise we can make ourselves healthy now the witches will leave that body riding off on a sneeze on a sneeze when we are cured they will come out from the nose and mouth like sneeze and you will be cured of the disease and the people will be happy this is the story are you able to understand the story children 
Now, I am going to ask you few questions regarding this story. What was the boy feeling? The boy was feeling very good. Yes, the boy was feeling ill. Aunike ushar ill denge aagito yarge a hudugunge ushar ill den aito. What had the witches learned? Yena nu kalti dro witches so. The witches had learned to jump from one person to another like virus. ಬರೀ ಆ ಹುಡುಗನ್ ಹುಷಾರು ಇಲ್ದಂಗೆ ಆಗಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ಹುಡುಗನಿಂದ ಅವರ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಹುಷಾರು ಇಲ್ದಂಗೆ ಆಯಿತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಆ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಅವರು ಹುಷಾರು ಇಲ್ದಂಗೆ ಆಯಿತು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಚಸ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಜಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ಯು ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಡು ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಯೆಸ್ ಯೆಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ Doctor fit and healthy. Doctor fit and healthy. Okay. What was the advice of doctor fit and healthy? What did the doctor tell the people? To eat? To eat? Yes. Fruits. To eat vegetables and do some exercise. Very good children. We will see to it. The doctor advised to eat some fruits, vegetables and do some exercise to improve health. immunity so all the people became very healthy and the uh, witches went out through the sneeze akshi when they did all the virus all the witches went away so all had become very healthy did you like the story children yes follow all the healthy tips to eat fruits vegetables and do some exercise now now we'll just take up one activity See children, there is activity 2. Fill in the blanks using the suitable words from the bracket. Now I am going to give you one minute children. In that, you are going to answer all these questions. They have given you the words here. These words should be taken and you are supposed to fill in the blanks. Will you do it? The earth was the dash place where adults and children enjoyed good life. First one is? very good dirtiest second one is healthiest which is the correct answer yes second one very good it is the healthiest very good children you are very smart now we'll go for the second one one of the witches was dash about people being healthy children we took up the homework work yes in that powerful furious which is correct yes some of them answered yes it is furious very good children now we'll take up the third one there was a big dash that destroyed the forest explosion thunder blast yes very good it is explosion there are three more fill ups we'll just go through it the witches were dash in a small bottle the boy drank the bottle small bottle so what was that gathered trapped which is the correct answer yes they were trapped they were trapped in a bottle next one there was no dash to get rid of the witches i told you the new word yes yes lasike lasike yes it is called as vaccine very good coming to the last one when a person became healthy the witches had to leave the body riding on a dash sneeze cough sneeze means akshi is the sneeze see no cough <coughs> which is the correct answer right you are right very good it is sneeze did you enjoy the exercise children this exercise is there in your textbook also you can write down once again we we'll go for the next activity children healthy habit means we know that cycling is also a very healthy habit now we'll just look at the picture of a cycle shall we yes and they have given you some of the words here you are going to pick up the words and fill up can you do it orally you can tell me yes the first one is shown for you it is the tire what is it tire very good what about the second one seat very good where is the seat yes that is the seat 
Very good. What about this? Yes, it is the brake. Good. What about the spokes? They are the lines in the wheel. Yes, spokes. Now, you will drive the cycle, isn't it, with a? Yes, very good, with a pedal. Now, we have the last one. It is the chain. Are you able to see? Yes, it is the chain. You also draw this picture of a cycle and you answer these parts. Will you do it? Yes. We will go for the next exercise, children. It is activity 4. Answer the opposites of these words. Do you know what are opposites? Yes, viruddhartaka padagalu. Now, I will give you 30 seconds. Try to answer this. Day, more, long, sad, advantage. Yes, these are the words. Are you able to answer? Yes, this is day. What is the opposite of day? Yes, children, it is night. Very good. And the second one, more, more. Yes, very good. It is less. What about long? Yes, long means it is very long. So, what is the opposite of long? Yes, very good. It is short. Sad? Yes. The children are playing. They are very happy. Yes. Sad? Happy. And then advantage? You are supposed to add a prefix for it. It is disadvantage. What is it? Disadvantage. Yes, children. These are called as opposites and they are also called as antonyms. What are they called as? Antonyms. Okay, children. Now, I have one more thing, children. The next topic is countables and uncountables. We will see what are countables and what are uncountables. Okay, children. Now, I have some of the fruits in one of the basket. Now, I can take one one and count. One, two, three. Maybe there are 15 fruits. Okay. Now, I can see, show you box. Yes. I can count. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I am able to count. And I am having some of the rings here. Which can be counted? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. And I have some of the pencils here. These are some of the pencils. I am able to count these pencils also. And I am able to count even the alphabet. Yes. A to Z. How many alphabet are there? Very good. There are 26 alphabet. I have so many. Yes. Animals also. So, all this I am able to count. So, that is called as countables. What are they called as? Countable. Countable nouns are those which can be counted. When I take up this finger, how many fingers are there? Five. Very good. Fingers, eyes, cricket players, etc. All these are countables. Then what are these uncountable nouns? What is uncountable noun? See children, I have water in this bottle. We know that there is one bottle, but we cannot count the water in this. We are not able to count the water in this. How much of water? One, two, three, we cannot count. Now, I have one more thing also here. I have an oil packet. In this oil packet, I am not able to count. One oil, two oil, three oil. It is called as one liter of oil or one packet, but I am not able to count the oil. Then, I have a salt packet here. I am not able to count the salt in this. So, these type of nouns are called as uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are those which cannot be counted. For example, water, oil, love, knowledge. My mother loves me very much. But I don't know how much. We say more. We say less. But we don't know how much. One, two, three. We cannot count. So, that is also called as uncountable nouns. Countables means which can be very good. Counted. Uncountables means which cannot be counted. Okay. I have an exercise here children. I will show you this exercise. You write C for countables and U C for uncountable. C for countable, U C for uncountable. See there are six pictures here. You are supposed to write C for countables. And you see for uncountable. Are you able to see? Look at the pictures. How many pictures are there? 
Very good, six. Okay, are you able to count this? Yes or no? Yes, you are able to count. Okay, this is C, countable. There are 10 fingers. How many fingers? 10 fingers. Now look at the second picture. Yes, how many members are there? Two, yes, we are able to count that also, countable. And what about this? He is having so many toys. He loves his toys. He loves his toys, but love cannot be counted. So it is very good, uncountable. There is oil in a bowl. There is oil in a bowl. Can we count? No, very good. It is uncountable. What about this? Yes, so much of water. Okay, countable? No, uncountable? Very good, it is uncountable. And can you see an animal there? It's a cat, isn't it? Yes, it is countable. Are you able to understand what are countables and uncountable children? We will go for the next exercise. Activity 6 children, match the singular and plural. Now children, singular means only one. Singular means only one. Plural means many, more than one. Singular, plural. Singular, plural. Very good. Now, we are going to look into this. Match the singular and plural. See, all these are singular and all these are plurals. What you are supposed to do is, you are supposed to match the singular with the plural. I will give you one example children. Here it is B-O-O-K book. You see where there is book here. Yes, did you get it? Yes, B-O-O-K. Yes, we have added S to it. So, it is books, book, books. This is the, op uh, this is the, match the following, book books. Can you do it? Okay, I will give you 10 seconds children. You can just mark. Did you get it? Yes, you can just go through the spellings. You will get it. You are supposed to look into the spellings also children. Shall we start? Okay, first one. Book. Books. Very good. What about this? Knife. You can see here. Yes. Here K is silent children. So it is called as knife. This is the knife. Knife. Very good. It is knives. What about class? Here is class. Yes. Classes. Country. Yes. Countries. For uh, Y is changed to I here. And here also, F is changed to V. Just go through the spellings also, children. Next one. Sheep. There are few plural in which we are not going to add anything. They are only the plural. For example, sheep. For sheep, it is sheep only, no sheeps. Okay, children. Next. Man. Man. Yes. These are the uh, plurals of these singular words. Okay, children. There are few more in the textbook. You can write it. At home, whenever you get the time after the class. Okay. We have come to the last part of the activity, children. Activity 7. Fill up with the appropriate form of verbs given in bracket. See, children, in this, I had already given you one activity, present tense and past tense. I am going to answer one. You try the other three. Shall we? Yes. After he dashed, that is walk, this verb should be used in this. 5 kilometers, he complained of sore foot, walk. Walk is present tense. When we add, very good, you remember, ed, yes. After he walked, we are going to use the same word with ed. So, it is past tense. Now, answer the three if you can. Okay. Right. Okay. The doctor arrived after the patient. What you are supposed to add? D, very good, died. I reached the bus station after the bus had. Yes, persons of leave. Very good, it is left. When the officials came out of the office, the rain had not. You are supposed to write the persons of it. Stopped. Yes, children, for this you are supposed to add 
P, extra P, stopped, S, T, O, P, P, E, D. Now we have come to the last part of our lesson children here. I am going to give you homework. Yes, look at the homework children. First one, collect pictures of fruits and vegetables and make a project. First one, collect pictures of fruits and vegetables and make a project. Write the healthy habits from the lesson. Healthy habits and tell the yene no tindre, namma aroge ke wale do, andra e lesson al kalthoni yiro, adinella, bariri, kanadalo bariri, English alo, bariri. Write the healthy habits from the lesson. Next one, I have one more this one on page number 12. Complete the application form for joining a health club. You are supposed to write your name, your father's name, your date of birth, your school name, your gender, whether you are male or female. Hennu, Gandu, Yenu, Thabito, Adinella, fill up Madi. Complete the application form for joining a health club. You are supposed to write your name, your father's name, your date of birth, your school name. Your gender, whether you are male or female, hennu, gandu, yenu, thabito, adinella, fill up madi. Download Diksha app and scan the QR code on the top right of page 1 and complete the given task. I hope you have enjoyed my lesson children. Thank you very much. Myself, Mrs. Nasreen Taj, GMPS, Bashetti Halli, Dolbala Purta Lok, Bangalore Rural District. Have a nice day children.